Advantage, dear friends out there. I hope today you're enjoying this beautiful day. Feb is a month where all true lovers, they take good care of their wonderful spouses, their wives. But our greetings to you. We are coming back to you from Home City Church here, sharing the good word and exposing the spirit of Jezebel. Today, I just want to encourage you, invite all your friends because we have some nice revelations that is going to blow your mind and is going to help you as you walk as a child of God. A Jezebel spirit. What's a Jezebel spirit? A Jezebel spirit is a controlling spirit of witchcraft, period. A Jezebel spirit is a controlling spirit of witchcraft. Contrary to popular beliefs, Jezebel does actually have, doesn't actually have gender, and it works through men just as well as it works through women. Now, <clears throat> there are, in fact, more male witches than female witches in the Bible. Jezebel, the word Jezebel means to exalt Baal. And the we know from the Old Testament that when Jezebel came up against Elijah, she had 450 male followers who were worshippers of Baal and worshipped and served Jezebel. According to the word of God in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 19, the Bible says, Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel and and Mount Camel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of the groves, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. Now, Second Kings chapter 9, verse 22 says, What peace as long as the hollowties of your mother Jezebel and her witchcraft are so many? So, dear friends, I want you to understand that this is very, very serious. The spirit of Jezebel is the spirit that goes around and the wreck, as I said, lives of the people. People, they have been destroyed. People, they have been diminished. Because as I said earlier on, the first thing that Jezebel does, he lies. If Jezebel cannot control you, he'll find a reason to falsify the fault and make you look like a villain. You try to bring you to the point whereby you'll be nobody. Also, Jezebel, there are things that I want to bring to your attention, even from the book of Isaiah 47, verses 5 to 7. The Bible says, For you shall no longer be called the lady of kingdoms. What does that mean? That means the queen of the kingdoms. And you said, I shall be a lady forever. That way, they forever is eternal queen. But Jezebel is an international principality. And I just wanted you to let you know that Jezebel is found in churches. And the Jezebel has its own agents that it puts in the churches. You know, three quarters of the people that are hopping from one church to another, you know, to, you find them they're in this house of God. Today it looks so nice and well. Then the following day they find all kinds of thoughts and they're looking for the house of God. It's pretty much, you know, because of a Jezebel spirit. So that Jezebel spirit will use any method that it can to destroy, you know, the kingdom of God, to destroy the revival, to destroy those people that have confidence in them. Jezebel is a dangerous spirit and Jezebel always wants to attach itself to, through the leaders, those people who are in leadership, it'll do anything. So be careful of what Jezebel does. We are not going to be ignorant of his plans and his ploys. And today, we're here to diminish you and to expose you, Jezebel, because you're a liar. It usually works with other principalities. You know, Isaiah 47 verse 9 says, They shall come upon you in their fullness because of the march of the great abundance of your enchantments. Jezebel spends nights upon nights enchanting and trying to bring destruction to the men and the women of God, praying against the work of the Savior, trying to destroy. Now, 
You know that's a Jezebel spirit because if you're a child of God, you not pray against another church. You not pray against the work of God. You want to see, you know, the kingdom of heaven populated by people. You want to see people completely saved. Let me borrow a quote from Renhard Bonke. He likes to say, we are plundering hell and populating heaven. You as a child of God, if you don't have the spirit of Jezebel, you want to plunder hell. You don't want to populate hell. So you are going to pray and do what is right, not to find the faults. Jezebel is a principality that is planted in the house of God so that the weak suffers the consequences of its growth. So that the weak you know, the way it goes into a position whereby it cannot advance the purpose or the plan that God has created it for. The way Jezebel, it hides behind hoping not to be seen or designed. So Jezebel, what it does, it will push someone in front and then it will hide behind and so that people, when they look at it, They'll not be able to realize who is the real, the mastermind manipulator behind. Most likely, people that are in the forefront, they are not the one who are doing the dead work. Jezebel is always in the background. They're trying to see and usurp the authority and then manipulate others. And it may, Jezebel, when it comes through the women, it, it may say to the husband, you are not a man enough to confront this situation. Look where we are. And if it's a woman, you say, I'll find my own way. I'll wiggle my way how to destroy everything that is happening. So that's the way how Jezebel is. For you have trusted in your own wickedness. You have said, no one sees me. Jezebel does like that. If you read Isaiah 47 verse 10, it will tell you like that. The word Lula is very much against the prophetic voice of the Lord as the prophets of God will not give into this control. So they have to either compromise or be killed by Jezebel. Jezebel will bring in an utterance voice that will seem right, but it is totally under this world ruler. He aim and the characteristics of Jezebel are that she is driven from inside by perversion. Jezebel is driven from inside by perversion. This is one thing that I want you to know. Ha, praise God. Jezebel, when he discovers that you are found, Jezebel doesn't stay. He runs or she runs. Jezebel when he knows that the operation is found, Jezebel looks for another person to devastate and destroy. So today, we're calling everybody that is bound in the spirit of Jezebel, seek deliverance because you might spend your life in eternal damnation and you'll be judged by God. But you still have this time to ask God to bring repentance in your life. Jezebel does not only bring Pervasion, but it brings rebellion. But also rebellion produces pride. Also pride produces arrogance and naughtiness, sorcery and witchcraft. So these are the products of what Jezebel does. For everything is done in Jezebel's world to satisfy self in every area, materialistic and physical. Also unteachable, independent arrogant spirit. If you see a person that has a Jezebel spirit, they are not willing to learn from nobody. And dear friend, if it's you, you don't want to learn from nobody, take a moment, ask yourself, which spirit is controlling me? Maybe you don't know. If these qualities are in you, you are unteachable, you have an independent spirit, you are arrogant, there is a Jezebel inside you. You need to repent and ask God to help you. But here's the beauty about what God does in our life. Praise be to God. I love this God that we save. The Bible tells us in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 18, Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel, 
and all the knees which have not bowed unto bow, and every mouth which have not kissed him. There is men and women of God out there that will never bow, will never kiss the feet of Jezebel, they will never worship him, and they will never allow any spirit of manipulation. So today, I want you to understand that be among those people that God can count on and say there are people who have never bowed to Jezebel. Here are five things that I want to bring to you today. Jezebel, number one, sows a seed of discord to those whom he or she controls. Jezebel will continually belittle other people in the most craft way. The strategy is to gain control by minimizing the value of other people. It is common for Jezebel to tell half-truth, to implicate another person in their eyes. By sowing these seeds, she or he hopes to eventually reap a harvest of destruction, improving his position of power. Number two, Jezebel commands attention. Jezebel can get the whole group of people, the whole tribe, or the whole family, whatever you might want to call it, and they control them. So Jezebel loves to control. Jezebel likes to be the center of attention and doesn't like to see others recognized or applauded. When someone else is recognized, he or she will quickly undermine that person accomplishment verbally and to say this is what I can do. Listen, the Bible says the gift and the call of a man makes room for them. So it's not about what Jezebel is trying to do. Let your gifts open doors that no other man can open. Also one thing, please be praying for us because I'm bringing this word that is very difficult. And I know the other th th thing that Jezebel is, is vengeful. And the wicked ones, they're enchanting here. They're talking, they're spreading the rumors. They're doing everything because they want not to be exposed. Jezebel is the spirit that is vengeful. Since a Jezebel is never wrong, if you contradict or confront it, it's ready to be your worst enemy. Jezebel, you can be my worst enemy. I'm not afraid of you. And I'm going to bring you down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'll cause you to bow to the Lord that I worship. But if you confront or challenge him or her, then look out. That will be the target. And he's so fierce and the fierce venom. Jezebel will stop at nothing to destroy your reputation. If people, they are attacking you there to try to destroy your reputation when you have done nothing, you must know that venom, they are cutting the master manipulator spirit that is in the house of God, Jezebel itself. Jezebel lingers around the church to destroy the work of God. Jezebel attempts to, to make you look like you are the Jezebel. Jezebel will turn around and introduce you like you are the Jezebel. Jezebel's spirit is difficult to pin down because Jezebel knows how skillful to twist the entire situation, trying to make everybody look like they're villains and then Jezebel be innocent. The last thing that I want to speak today, Jezebel insinuates disapproval. So Jezebel will often imply disapproval to those under his or her control. The control person feels no freedom to express an opinion for fear of disapproval. This often manifests in marriage or in working environment. There are so many people in these homes, in the marriages, where the wife will belittle or the husband will belittle the wife. There is a lot of witchcraft. Oh, they'll bring things like, if you had done this, this would not have happened. Why? Because Jezebel looks into the way how he can bring to destroy a true relationship. Most of these confusions that are happening in marriages is because of Jezebel. Jezebel is usually very blunt 
and regarding his knowledge of everything, quick to express opinion in areas. He leaves little room for anyone to point to others what the issue is. He has made idols of opinions. So Jezebel is very ambitious. Let's destroy the ambitions of Jezebel. Jezebel, when he comes into the house of God, will show you like he's so close to God, but yet very far, Jezebel is good and qualifies literally half the form of godliness but denying the power. Jezebel is out there to destroy, to plunder, to kill. He's a thief. He does everything by manipulation and by craft method. So, dear friends, even as I close, I'm just praying in the name of Jesus Christ that today we are destroying the powers of the enemy. We are destroying the witchcraft of Jezebel. We are exposing him. We are rendering her or him useless. Every enchantment, they, everything that Jezebel does in the night to try to scorn and rebuke the word of God, we rebuke you, Jezebel, and we render you useless. You're underneath the feet of Jesus. And by faith, Jezebel, I declare you are defeated this day and forevermore. And you will not rise from where you are until you repent. So I command you, Jezebel, to repent in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.